Hey everybody, welcome back to Gideon Stuff. Today, I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm starting a new series called EDC Crafts. And, and today, in our very first episode, we're going over how to rip die knives. By the way, thank you to the amazing Gerber Paraframes for making such excellent stands. So yeah, rip dyeing knives. This is something that I think everyone in the EDC community should know how to do because it's surprisingly easy and really fun. It's a great way to uh, make a knife or another type of gear uniquely yours. So today we're going to go over just exactly how to do that. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. This right here is the writ die I'm using. Navy blue. I love blue, so we're going to be turning some of my favorite knives blue. I think it'll be really, really cool. Um, I gotta say, be careful with this stuff. It will get everywhere if you let it, and it will never come off. So, just, just be careful. So, let's go ahead and, uh, go over the list of tools and everything you'll need. Okay, so the tools you'll need are, first, tools to disassemble your knives, obviously, and don't forget your lube. Uh, next thing you want to grab is, uh, some kind of cleaning solution we have simple green here obviously you need your dye because that's you know kind of the whole point of this thing uh, get some wire get a pan that you don't care about again the dye will stain everything uh, and some rubber gloves though you will need those to keep the dye from staining you and also to handle your knives you don't want to get fingerprints on the scales and of course you need your knives uh, in this video today we're going to be focusing uh, on dyeing the Best Tech Grampus, although I do dye all these knives on the table, as well as um, a couple others. We have the Best Tech Lion, Paladin, and Grampus, the CGRB Feldspar, the Cold Seal 8015, and even though it's not shown, Ace of Eevee Riffle. The first step is obviously to disassemble your knife. That's uh, kind of important. You need to get those scales off of the knife before you dye it obviously. Once you have your knife disassembled, now is a good time to put on your rubber gloves. Uh, this is to keep the dye off of you, but it's also to uh, prevent you from getting fingerprints on your knife scales. You'll see in a little bit, we'll start cleaning them. Um, also, no shirt I'm wearing is a shirt that's uh, I don't really care about, baggy and old. Wear clothes you don't care about, you'll probably get dye on them, so just a helpful tip. And uh, yeah, let's clean them. All right, cleaning time. You can use a basic solvent cleaner. In this case, we're using Simple Green. This step is very important. It is vital that you clean your scales and you clean them well. Any fingerprints or smudges, any hairs or dirt that you have on your scales will be preserved as blemishes um, after the dye. So make sure you clean them, make sure you clean them good. As you can see here with the Best Tech Grampus that we're gonna be doing, it has a little bit of a pitted surface. so. Try and get down in there as much as possible. I also had the uh, 8015 scales to die, and so cleaning those was a little bit of a challenge. It just takes a little extra 
But again, with a good cleaner, it shouldn't be too much. Just make sure you really, really scrub. Okay, so next thing you wanna do is take your wire and just make some simple hooks. This literally does exactly what you think it would. You hang the scales on there and it gives you something to hold on to while you dip them into the dye, uh, just like Easter eggs, I guess. Except hooks instead of little spoon things. It's time to prepare the dye bath. So, for my particular solution, I used seven parts water to one part dye, and it happened to work out to be exactly one bottle of this stuff. So. Your concentration may vary. I've heard some people use eight parts water to one part dye. Um, that's right around the ballpark that you're gonna want. So for these smaller bottles, think you know about seven, seven parts, eight parts to that one of those. And now the fun part begins. Once you have your dye bath made, go ahead and start heating it. Get it to a light boil. You'll see here actually, um, I did not quite have my bath hot enough when I first started. Um, I should have let it go a little bit longer, but there we go, putting the scales in. Check them frequently. I checked mine about every 10 to 15 seconds. So, uh, the dye will set in a lot faster than you might think. Already you can see it's starting to color. Again, my bath isn't even really that hot, so wait for it to get a little bit warmer than I did. When you are done, when you have achieved the color that you want, remember to frequently check, you take your dyed scales and you rinse them off with water. Rinse them off, dry them. The color will change slightly after you rinse it off and dry it. So if you're going for a really dark color, go a little bit darker than you want. If you're going for a light color, again, go a little bit darker than, than you want, see what happens. Or what's better to do is when you reach the color that you think you want, rinse it off, the color might change slightly, put it back in for a little bit if you feel like you need to. All right, are we ready for the big reveal? How'd it turn out? There we go. This looks great. It looks great. Yes, I'm missing a screw. While I was reassembling this guy, which I didn't show on video, uh, the screw just went flying across the room and fell in, down into the floor register. So yeah, that was fun. But anyways, the knife looks great. <laughs> the knife looks really, really great. Um, yeah. So I did do a bunch of different knives on this particular day. This knife actually came out with a, let's grab my flashlight so you can kind of see that a little bit better. But yeah, it kind of has this wood, like this blue wood grainy texture. I really like it. But yeah, there is the best tech Grampus looking amazing. Really, really cool. So, I did several best techs that were that tan uh, G10. One of them was my Paladin. Came out really, really nice. Did the backspacer as well. Really, really nice on that guy. And I did the Lion. Actually, with the Lion, I tried going for more of a blue jean color. So you can see he's a little bit lighter than these guys. But, uh, yeah. Looks really, really good, in my opinion. So, yeah. There was our Tan G10 stuff. Came out 
Great. Let's move them aside. So how do the JG10 on the Blade HQ exclusive small feldspar turn out? JG10, remember it's also called natural G10. It takes color, well, it's supposed to take color easier than most everything else. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. I like it a lot. A lot, a lot. Really does help give the knife a uh, personality all of its own to match to match you. So that's really good. So what else can you dye? Can you dye my carta? Well, yes, you can. I don't think I showed this knife in the uh, overview, but uh, I actually dyed my brown micarta Savivi Riffle, and. Turned out really nice. Got some oil on the blade. The micarta actually died faster than anything else. I literally just stuck these scales in there for... The backspacer was in there for like 10 seconds. Uh, the scales were probably 15 seconds each. But yeah. Man, that looks nice, doesn't it? So... Remember, when you're dying, you should only die. You can only dye a lighter color, darker, right? So I did a little bit of an experiment. I tried dyeing my Cold Steel 8015 blue. It's the green version. It worked. So here's what it looked like before. Yeah, I know I've got a problem with this knife. <laughs> so there's what it looked like before. And there's what it looks like now. In order to achieve this, it was the most difficult to dye, this OD green to this blue. But I just left the scales in there for a long time until they turned almost black. Rinsed them off. And then, um, yeah, they turned out a nice blue. Very, very good. One of the reasons I tried doing this was because I was actually kind of hoping that I'd mess up. Because I could talk about how to fix mistakes. And the way you fix mistakes is to just uh, dye it black. <laughs> you dye it black. And uh, yeah, black will go over anything. So, there we go. There's a bunch of really nice customized knives. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Like, comment, subscribe. Gideon, signing out.